Hey, hey, what's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Cipolla here, hailing to you from Oak Brook, Illinois, inside the Mercedes-Benz Mille Miglia SL550 AMG, baby. My dream car. You know what? I always tell my guys, I always tell my friends, I always tell them, you know what happened, man? When I call you um, on the phone, and all you hear is, oh, my God! That's what, I, I figured out, that's what AMG stands for. In Mercedes-Benz, AMG stands for, oh my God, because you're driving your dream, baby. What's going on, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zappala here. Jacked up right now on Monday. And if you guys are watching this replay right now, good to see you. If you're watching me live right now, thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. I'm fired up right now. about to grab a quick bite to eat. Uh, no normal lunch breaks for everybody happens to be at noon but listen entrepreneur lunch break man it's like close to three o'clock and now i'm taking my lunch break we're just absolutely fired up you know what happened conversation happens matt listen I'm, i want to be successful i want to be successful i want to be successful but i gotta wait for certain things to clear up i gotta wait for certain things to point in the right direction i'm waiting for certain things to clear up before i make a decision to become successful before i make a decision to something big and serious in my life and it couldn't be any more further than the truth. And it reminded me of an old parable about what happened when the last time success and convenience hung out. You know what the answer is? Nothing. You know why? Because success and convenience never hung, never hung out. They ain't friends. They ain't supposed to be buddy buddies. They're supposed to be having a relationship. What happened the last time success and convenience hung out was nothing. And if you want success in your life, you want, uh, if you want change in your life, you want to make a difference in your family, you want your bank account to change, don't wait for a convenient time for that to happen. So listen, on a brighter note, let me let me lighten this up real quick, man. I got to get going. I got I got to I got to get to get something to eat. When was the last time you thought success and convenience was about, about to hang out, man? It ain't gonna happen. So you're joining me right now on my way to, to lunch. But uh, the last time success and convenient hung out was when nothing successful or convenient was happening in your life. Think about this. Some of the biggest decisions you made in your life, was it convenient? Uh, listen, one of the biggest decisions I made in my life was to get married. That wasn't convenient. I was waiting for all my ducks in a row to line up. I was waiting for me to be in a right financial position to get married. You know what? I got married in the most inconvenient time of my life. I asked my dime to be mine. My wife, my girlfriend at the time, Sheena, I asked, I asked her to marry me when I was the most broke, busted, and disgusted time of my life. It was inconvenient. But guess what? It turned out to be the most happiest decision I've ever made in my life. We're, we're expecting things to be easy. We're about to leave for convention right now uh, in Vegas to invest in a convention, to invest in training, to invest in a time in our life where we're gonna have time and money invest in a conference so we can get skills we can get vision, we can get uh, uh, awareness to change our lives forever. And I know for most people, it's in the middle of summer, uh, kids are going back to school, uh, back to school investment, registration. All right, you guys are back. It was uh, looking for a signal there. But uh, thank you guys for joining us. I think Tony Fernandez just joined us. I think he shared too as well. What's going on, Latina Vega? I see that you, uh, you joined us too as well. Dustin Frampton, Everlyn Yeva. Are you fired up to be in Vegas, man? Are you fired up that we're going to be hosting the biggest convention in the history of our company? It's been sold out for five weeks. It's been sold out for five weeks. We're about to host this thing that people are investing from all parts of the country, the world to be here in Vegas. We're getting mentally prepared right now. We're about to leave in the next couple of days. Our team is getting mentally prepared. 
Our executive home office staff, I believe, is already there, already setting things up at Caesars Palace in Vegas. Fired up, man. Listen, if you're waiting for a convenient time to be successful, if you're waiting for a convenient time for things to line up in order for you to make a move, if you're waiting for a convenient time for you to make a big difference in your life, it's not going to happen. Never. Ever. And people are saying, man, I, I'm waiting for uh, uh, this to line up, this to line up. I'm waiting for this person to say yes. I'm waiting for this person to say yes. I'm waiting for this situation to clear up. It's not going to happen. And what's going to happen is the rest of your life, you created a habit waiting for you to make a decision for everything to line up in order to be perfect, in order for your life to be successful. It's not going to happen. If you're waiting for a big deal to close, if you're waiting for a promotion, if you're waiting to start a business, if you're waiting to get married, if you're waiting to date a girl, if you're waiting to approach somebody and you're waiting for a perfect time, it ain't gonna happen, ever. Man, I think uh, uh, operating in a different company, I think with a different form of a different system, a different culture, I think that's gonna be uh, uh, better for me. Listen, if you're a chump now, what, what makes you think you're gonna be a, a superstar champion somewhere else? If you didn't show up and we're exactly where you're at right now, what makes you think that you're going to show up somewhere else? Success and convenient don't hang out. It's never going to hang out. I can't believe so many, so many excuses people deal with on a daily basis waiting for certain things to line up in order for them to be, become successful. In the last 19 years of my experience being a part-time to a full-time entrepreneur, it's never panned out for the best of me because I decided to wait. It was when I made decisive decisions. When I said, you know what? Nobody's charging the hill. I'm going to take control. I'm going to take command of my life. Regardless of what anybody says, you know what? That's when I became successful. That's when I became happy. That's when I discovered the next best version of me. And if you're waiting for a perfect situation, if you're waiting for perfect conditions to line up in order for you to make a decision, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. And what happens is you go through life going from decision to decision, or, or should I say indecision to indecision, waiting for the right conditions in order for you to happen. Not going to happen. Well, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait until my bachelor's degree is done. I'm going to wait for my master's degree computer. I'm going to wait for my PhD. Listen, if you were trying to cl uh, climb the corporate ladder, maybe that might work. Maybe. And even then, you're not making any significant decisions. I'm waiting for this situation to clear up. I'm waiting for this situation to present itself. Listen, you've got to go make the decision present itself. Well, man, I, I need to pray about it. Well, haven't you been praying already? Man, I got to wait on the Lord. Will heaven be asking for the greatness to come your way already? When the, when the opportunity presents itself, when the burning bush is right there, what do you do about it? I've seen so many people waste time waiting for the right conditions, waiting for the most convenient moment to happen to them in order for them to make a decision to become successful. And next thing you know, six months goes by, 12 months goes by, five years goes by, 10 years goes by. Listen, the crazy part about this is when I was 23, 24, 25 years old, and I told my Marines, I'm going to go into business for myself. You know what happened? They laughed at me. Ha, 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 Sapala. Nothing's going to happen to you. All you know how to do is be a Marine. Matter of fact, it's so disrespectful that my Marines didn't even have an, a, a, a party for me to, when I left my career. They said, Sapala, get out of here. We'll see you in 30 days again. All you're going to do is re-enlist and come back in the Marine Corps. I remember my gunnery sergeant telling me, Sapala, you don't know nothing about money. You know nothing about money. You know what? He was right. And I told him, hey, Gunny, it's not where I am. It's where I'm headed. The most important thing is the people I'm surrounded with. That's the most exciting part of where I'm going is the people I'm around. You know nothing about money, Sapala. I know about money. What you know about money, Gunny? He says, I drive people's cars. Where? at the valet at the Ritz Carlton in Laguna Hills. Are you freaking kidding me? The reason why you know money is because you valet people's cars? Let me qualify your bullshit real quick. And he shared, I know about watches. What you know about watches, Gunny? 
What you know about Gunny? Uh, about watches, Gunny? I respect you in combat, but I'm not sure if I respect you in terms, of, in terms of coming to money. So, well, you don't have a degree. You, you're supposed to get your degree in finance years ago, before you become successful. Are you freaking kidding me? I still don't have a degree to this day. And you know what I'm wearing? I'm wearing a Rolex watch. Boom! I know nothing about money because I didn't come from it. And guess what I'm driving, baby? I'm driving an AMG. Oh my God! That's what AMG stands for. Oh my God! You know why? Because I didn't wait for a perfect time for me to become successful. And wait for somebody to say, it's time for you to become successful. I looked at myself in the mirror. I looked at my bank account. I looked at where I was in terms of a happiness indicator. I was pissed. How pissed off do you got to be to do something? When are you finally going to make a move? My CEO mentor just dropped a video. You guys need to watch it on my Facebook timeline. I just posted it right before I went live here. But you guys need to watch it. Because you know what happens when you don't take action? Instead of having a life of living, you're learning from mistake to mistake. What happens, you start living from regret to regret. You start regretting things that you could have, should have done years ago. And what happens is you're less confident. What happens is you're broke. You're, 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 it's, it's less about being financially, but, but more bring, being broke mentally. And I don't want you guys to be broke mentally. I want you to be enriched. I want you to live a life of happiness, enjoyment, fulfillment. That you're accomplishing something. That you're in battle every day. That because you're courageous enough to go in a battle every day, you're inspiring other people around you to go in battle too as well. So they can accomplish their dreams, their goals. What's that saying by Nelson Mandela? N Nelson Mandela? He says, what is your greatest fear? What is your greatest fear? What's the worst that can happen? How does that go again? What is your greatest fear? Our greatest fear is that we're more powerful beyond measure. You're more powerful beyond measure. You are more powerful beyond measure. But, but, but how do I express it, Matt? By doing it. By not waiting for the stars to line up in order for things to be perfect. But Matt, my money isn't right. Listen, I was making $16,000 a year as a United States Marine when, before I started my first business. I had no money. I think I had about three, four, five hundred bucks. I went to Vegas for my first convention and then opened my eyes. I roomed up with about 20 people in a suite in the, in the, MGM, uh, in the MGM Grand. I roomed up with about 16 to 20 people. There's clothes and, 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 and luggage and socks and shoes and stank and funk all over the place. It was nasty. But you know what? It opened up my eyes. It stretched my vision. It showed me that I can really have a better life. Why? Because I wasn't waiting for convenience to present itself. I demanded success. I demanded to be different. I demanded to, my, to have my bank account be different. People think, Matt, you've always been, you, you've always had things go your way. Are you kidding me? There's been periods of my life where things never went its way. But I kept working at it. I kept working at it. You know why? Because I wasn't waiting for success to conveniently show up. You got to make a move. You got to make a move, man. If you don't make a move, regret piles up. I'd rather you make a move and discover that that wasn't the right move. And you're armed with uh, knowing what conditions in order to deploy your strengths. Don't be timid, man. Why be timid? I'm waiting, what well, they said it wasn't convenient. You know, listen, I was, uh, I was uh, uh, showing my twins this weekend. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, I was showing my twins this weekend. So your job, entering this year of high school is to find a job 
in addition to your after school activities, the clubs and activities you're a part of, your job is to get a job. Because my job in the next couple years is to prepare you for the harshness of life. And they kept going from store to store, kept getting rejected. Just saying, Poppy, nobody's hiring me. Why? Because I'm not 18. Well, who said that? The person said that uh, the people here at the mall, they don't hire people unless you're 18. I said, who said that? Who said that again? That little clerk? They said that. I'm looking at her and says, qualify them real quick. Are they successful? Well, they have a job. So do that? Do, are they are they showing success? Like, are they managing and running a store? You just talk to somebody that's not running a store. You're into somebody that's thankfully got a job. Probably some some somebody that doesn't want you to come into the store and get a job to take their hours. That's probably the person that told you that. So don't let they convince you that you can't get a job just because you're not 18 years old. You kidding me? So go into the next store. Poppy just said the same thing. Great, go to the next store. Boom. They said that I, I, had, to be, uh, I had to be 17. Oh, so it's lowering now. So uh, 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 so ask her out. Did you ask ask them this question? What what store here will, re, will hire retail or hire in a restaurant even though I'm 16? Go ask that question. Qualify, qualify the objection. You know what? They want to qualify the objection. And next thing you know, they found other stores with inside the mall that will hire them at 16 years old. It says, babe, imagine if you just kept what they said. A person that you don't know, a person that you don't have a friendship and a connection or relationship with, a person that doesn't have a track record of success, and you are initially going to say, I'm not looking for a job in the mall because they said only 18-year-olds can get hired in the mall. Imagine if you took that, uh, took that story. because success and convenience don't hang out. The best opportunities happen when you continue to dig, when you continue to explore, when you continue to demand. That's when you find success. That's when you decide, I'm gonna be different. That's when you discover the next best version of you. Because you gotta qualify who they are in your life. Well, they said this, they said that. Shit, you know what to say to they? Who are they? Who are they to determine the best thing in my life? I want to find out for myself. You tell me firsthand. And then when you tell me firsthand that this is not the right opportunity for you, I'm going to ask you why. I'm the king of my kingdom. You're the queen of your kingdom. You need to qualify who, who they are in your life because success and convenience don't hang out. And the last time they hung out, nothing happened. Nothing ever will happen because success and convenience never will hang out together. And you're helping me uh, work up an appetite. So with that being said, guys, I want you to know that when we come into Vegas this, past, this next, uh, next week, don't, don't expect convenience. Expect success, but don't expect convenience. So Matt, listen, I'm always on my last dime. I remember about Dick and Anna telling me they had 80 bucks last time we went to a Vegas convention. They had $80 to the name They went to convention, to a big event, to find the skills, the know-how, the belief, the identity, the expectations. The identity was greater than them so they can shape their identity. They can shape and see a, bit, uh, a bigger vision and version of themselves by seeing other people become successful too as well. Because at this point, we weren't raised uh, to be programmed to be successful. We were raised and programmed to survive, not to thrive. And entrepreneurs demand to thrive, not to survive. And that's why entrepreneurs are different. How many guys are feeling me right now? Richard Love joined. What's going on, guys? Good to see you joining the conversation. But with that being said, I want you to know that a big bombshell announcement a big bombshell announcement will be announced Friday the 18th. So make sure you stay posted. I've got a lot of people reaching out to me right now on Snapchat, private messages, private messages on Instagram, private messages here on Facebook. Matter of fact, we we're doing a meeting this morning and a couple of people that will happen to be in Vegas at the same time down the street at another venue, at another convention are asking if they can meet with me on, on Wednesday. 
no problem. If you want to private message me a huge bombshell announcement that will rock the industry, that will initiate the disruption of our industry, will be taking place Friday the 18th. And if you want to be a part of it, private message me. If you want to be a part of it, if you happen to be in Vegas, if you're from Vegas, you happen to be at a convention in Vegas already on Friday, August the 18th, and you want to know what this bombshell announcement is going to be that's going to better your family, that's going to better position you to become successful, that's going to better uh, position your financial future to be successful. And guess what? It's not going to be convenient to meet with me that Friday or during that week. But if you demand success, you demand the next best version of you to show up, private message me and I'll, I'll, I will inconveniently find a way for you to be a part of it. It's not going to be convenient on my part. But if you want to inconveniently make it happen, I'm going to find a way to meet you halfway. You do your part, and I will do my part. With that being said, guys, I'm ready to chow, man. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for success. I'm physically hungry. I want more. And I hope you want more too as well. I know you do. I hope you want more out of your life. Because the way things are going in America right now, the way things going, uh, uh, the way things are going in America right now, you you demand more, you deserve more. I, I'm going to be sharing a talk on Thursday morning on PHP Agency versus the rest of the financial services industry that will rock the world. It's going to show how we're better positioned to be in a position of success that Thursday morning than any other opportunity in America today. And for those that want to be brand ambassadors, partners, advocates, uh, uh, associates of ours, you'll be blessed. You will be blessed. And, and, I want you, and I want you guys to know, and I want you guys to know that you're a part of it. Uh, by the way, for some reason, I, I know there's a lot of comments that are, are floating right, on right now, but for some reason, I, uh, I can't see that right now on my, on my screen. But... Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I'm so glad to be in business today. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be in a position where I have control I, 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 of my income. I've, I'm so glad I'm in a position right now. Uh, I may not have control of, uh, of this Facebook Live right now. It's, it's, it's all over the place. Got it. It's all over the place. All right? But, uh, oh crazy I can't even see myself in this thing but I want you guys to know uh, this week we're gonna be in Las Vegas and uh, major announcements are gonna happen if you happen to be in Vegas that week um, I've got a special surprise uh, announcements to myself of why PHP is positioned for evolution and disruption with inside the insurance industry us against the world Friday evening I happen to be uh, the host of our gala night. I'm going to be hosting some entertainment. I'm going to meet Maz Jabrani for the very first time. Uh, I'm bringing him on stage. Uh, uh, Frederick De Silva, my mentor CEO, Patrick Bedavid. Uh, we're going to be meeting uh, Wayne Gretzky, uh, 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 Coach John Calipari of Kentucky. Uh, an awesome opportunity to meet these gentlemen uh, and, and have them become part of our, of our convention. Uh, we're just bringing the, bre uh, the best and brightest minds uh, in terms of playing offense and having a championship mentality to have a huge disruption. Are you guys excited to be there? I hope you are. If you're not uh, planning on going to Vegas, you have a couple days to meet us there. Um, but by the way, the event is sold out, but if you say, Matt, uh, consider me, I wanna change my life. I don't expect success and convenience to hang out. I'm gonna inconveniently find the money to get to Las Vegas. I wanna find a way to financially change my life I'm going to sell some of my things right now in my house on eBay at the pawn shop just to have enough money for the plane ticket, hotel room. I will find a way for you to get a ticket. We got some tickets. Even though the event is sold out, I've got some tickets for people who want to say, Matt, I demand success and inconveniently I want to meet you in Vegas. If that's you, private message me and I'll see about making a ticket for you inconveniently up here. I will do that for you. You do your part, and I will do my part. You're, you're going to find, no matter what you do in your life, when you demand success 
And if for not to be convenient, success will find its way towards you. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in Vegas. Watch for tomorrow's uh, Facebook update too as well. And uh, expect for more Facebook lies from Las Vegas, from our suite in Caesars Palace, on stage from Caesars Palace, behind stage at Caesars Palace. It's going to be rocking. I'm fired up. Till we meet again. Continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. And be money smart today. God bless you guys. See you in Vegas. Have a great rest of the week.